Good morning, my students. This is me, Dr. Hannah Hassani. I'm happy to talk to you today for the first time about the course of novel. And that's why we need to define some concepts based on the file that I have sent to you uh, previously. Uh, what we need to understand about this course is that this course is always and uh, forever will be about reading and uh, reading critically, like how to criticize the work and how to show, you, to show up your opinion. This is a very important point about uh, reading. It's not just reading for pleasure or reading because you want to read. It's about practicing reading because you have series or you have chapters and you have to follow one by one till you reach the last chapter and the end. So for the part of novel, we need to understand, first of all, what is novel? So novel here is piece of prose. So if we give you questions like uh, true or false, you have to understand that this is a prose. A uh, piece of prose fiction of reasonable length. So reasonable length means there is a length like 1,000 pages, 500 pages. So that's the first part. And you can realize here, as for fiction, the distinction between fiction and fact is not always clear. It means we, we cannot decide, sometimes some novels, the, uh, the, the authors wrote it because of real story. And sometimes they wrote it because of fictional story or unreal story. And that's the point here. They are not sure always what uh, or whether the author wrote his novel or her novel based on uh, reality or based on uh, fiction or the, the think or unreal thinking or maybe safety as you can see a lot of movies. We also have novella. Novella it's like shorter than a novel and longer than short story. So this is called long short story become a novel but it's under or it's between short story and novel. That's called novella. Like what we have here, The Duel by Anton Chekhov as a short story, but they are both at the same time. Like they can consider, it could consider as a short story or novella. That's the uh, first part of the novel. Let's move to the next one. We have here another point for the, uh, that uh, file. So we can understand another point from here. So we have some types of novel, like if the novel is a romance, and some novel like talk about reality, some about reportage, some about psychological investigation, and so on and so forth. So a lot of uh, uh, topics can be discussed in novels. So romance, is full of marvels. The modern novel is nothing if not mundane. It portrays a secular, empirical world rather than a mythical or metaphysical one. It focus, or its focus is on culture, not nature, or so supernatural uh, topics. So that's one another point about the topics or the ideas. The novel can be. Uh, discussed or taken by the author. And here we have novel presents us with changing, concrete, open-ended history rather than a closed symbolic universe. And uh, this is a good point about the debate. The novel also is a form in which history goes all the way down. So it can be historical and this is another good point of writing the novel. Okay, um, let's move to another page. If we go down to check other pages, we have here uh, one point, realism. So in realism here, you have to understand it would appear if out, uh, or it's out of favor because the ordinary reader delights in the exotic and extravagant. 
The irony is the nawfil as a form is wedded to the common life. So this is the point about realism also for the novel. Uh, let's move to another part down. I need to show you something. Uh, page number, if you look at page number. Okay, page number 17 or, or 18, I think. Yes, uh, 17. So in page number 17, we have one important point. The novel is a sign of our freedom. So our freedom in what? Because uh, any writer or any author can write uh, a good work and after a while it will be published and this work it reflected his own opinion and that's why it it's another way of showing the freedom in the modern world the only rules which are binding are those which we invent or invent for ourselves so we, we when we invent something or create something or publish something this is something like you have to understand it's about freedom politically speaking this is known as democracy so democracy, you can write whatever you like about the topics, but sometimes, you know, like in politics, they can arrest you or they can put you in jail because of some uh, problems you make for others. It means like when, when you write, maybe you have to be careful about the, the regime or political regime, because sometimes when you write something against the regime, it means you will be in jail or in the prison. So be careful about your own writing. That's the point here that I'm looking for. Um, uh, at the end of that, what we need to understand also is something else. The tradition recorded in this book is rather different. In some ways, the story of English novel um, can be style of Defoe. Daniel Defoe is very, very well-known uh, English writer, and he likes to show uh, his own way of realism. We have also Virginia Woolf. She used metaphorical style. And we have also another name, like uh, his name, like self-consciousness here, belong to Henry Fielding and Henry James. They are talking about immense distance. This is the point that we have to understand uh, through that file. It means we, we cannot read everything in this file. And that's why um, this is the first part that I need to talk about. Uh, let's move to the second part of the novel. Okay, uh, when we look at the novel here, we have to understand the narrating style. And in narrating style, we have omniscient narration, we have focalization and free and direct discourse, interior monologue, and a stream of consciousness. We have first person narration, and we have also the stories within the story, like here, somebody send the stories. So here, if you look at the part, the first part here, we can find omniscient narration. What do we mean by it? Vanity was the beginning and end of Sir Walter Elliot. Jane Austen writes Heroine's father early. He had been remarkably handsome in his youth. So uh, omniscient means you use the word of personal appearance. Like what is a personal appearance? Like when you look at omniscient coming from the Latin adjective omnis, it means all. All, when we talk about omniscient, all like you use first person narrator and third person narrator. It means it gather all the styles and all narrating styles. That's the meaning of omniscient. It's misleading also here because it implies that narrative word and it inhabits inhabitants have a reality beyond the narration itself. So narration here, it means it uses all the uh, characteristics, and that's the point of uh, omniscient. 
the concept of narrative omniscient and defy the degree of trust that the reader is asked to place in the truth value of the stories telling. So that's the point when you realize it by first person narrator, third person narrator, you will have the real or the whole real story in your own mind. It's not narrated by only one person. You will have different opinions. That's the point that we are looking for. Let's move to chapter four. Quickly, here we have character in the novel. When you read about characters, we have a flat character, round character, major character, minor, transparent, opaque. So the point what we need to understand here, when we talk about flat character, it means something like abstract or stable or constant from the beginning till the end. But for round, it can be changed, like it can be start by being evil side and the evil side and then later it moved to be in the good side or good um, omen or good uh, person. That's the, the, the point about flat and round. Major and minor, we have always major characters in any novel and we have minor characters just become uh, in one chapter or two chapters. This is called minor, but major from the beginning till the end you can find uh, the character always there, always alive, always sharing some uh, quotes or uh, saying words. That's the point about it. And transparent, opaque, opaque, like it can be um, ambiguous or it can be the person who have that or the person who had like the, 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 the issue of uh, being passive or um, will not be known by many readers who is really uh, and who is behind this person. A transparent, it means the person who is totally clear to any character or to any reader. And here you can find some examples. Uh, you can go through these examples, but what we need here to read that part Fictional mind that we cooperate here. We have uh, some points about uh, examples for flat, round, major, minor. When we talk about animal farm, we have to understand uh, the different characters of animals. We have horses, we have pigs, and in pigs we have someone whose name uh, or given name Snowball. So you have to read about Snowball and you have to read about the horses, you have to read about the do donkey, and find out the person or the, the, the way of showing the capitalism and communism. This is a exa an example of it. And then we need to move about the plotting. In the novel, after I said we have narration, we have character, and then we have plot. What do we mean by plot? Plot, it means the level of the story that reach to the top or how it moves from rising action to the climax so climax means the edge or the point everything will be turning after it we have here suspense interruption delay this is other names but usually we use blot uh, keep it in your mind that plot is the center point of the whole novel. So plot here is conspiracy as well as organization of a narrative. So organization of narrative and second that fictional plot like their criminal counterparts depend on the secrecy and withholding. And this is the point about what we need to understand that conspiracy as well as organization. How to organize your chapters and which chapter you want to uh, focus on building up your plot. So at least maybe sometimes you have uh, uh, writers who wrote the plot in one chapter. Others, they keep it tra ra ra crazy for five to ten chapters until you realize what's going on. And this is depends on the sophistication or sophisticated style of the author. Okay, and then we have chapter six, we have sitting on the no in the novel. Like when we talk about sitting, it means we are discussing the point of where and when. So it's about time and place. 
usually when we read any story, we need to understand uh, where is that story occurred or happened, and where the act or where they already been. Is it fictional, like unreal place, imagination, or is it real place? And other way, uh, the time, like sometimes you read, you will, you can focus like about the history. Is it like 19th century, 18th century? Is it like in one year? Or is it in one month? Is it whole novel about one day? This is the, the depends on the, uh, the, the writer. And here there is an example about Charles Dickens. Um, it doesn't seem to me enough to say of an inscription that it is the exact truth. Uh, when we talk about the sitting, uh, this is his own opinion, but what I'm sharing with you here is a uh, uh, way of, of it. Like here we have time and history. Sometimes they separate the sitting because they need to focus on the history, but this is not a big deal. Um, we have here genre and sub-genre. Genre means it's about the type of literary fiction. What's the type of f literary fiction? Is it like uh, here I adore stories that push on ex or inexorably or frightening stories? Uh, how is your type? Like, are you with uh, female or feminine? You follow the feminism, you follow the capitalism like politics, you follow the CV like for imagination, scientific uh, stories. This is depends on how you like the genre. The genre is your style or the style that you prefer for the fictional story or the literary work. Some readers, they only prefer the romantic novels. Others, they prefer like uh, action novels or the novels that include a lot of criminal investigation stories. So this is depends on the, um, the, 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 the way that you interest. Okay, and then uh, after I finish from this, uh, I have to remind you that I will upload to you uh, one file, and this file will include the literary criticism theories, uh, plus we will discuss the novel after a few days. I hope that you can read Animal Farm by George Orwell, focus on the first 10 chapters. We will discuss the first 10 chapters into one video. And uh, the, the video will be totally focused on the uh, summary of the novel. I will give you the summary of the novel by showing you the characters, uh, the ideas, themes, uh, settings. We will talk about the same as I mentioned in this uh, video. Uh, what is the, the reason behind writing? that uh, story so that's what i mean by it so i hope that you you uh, already understand what i mean and thank you for listening and see you later